Hello makers, welcome to another card I'm making for the Whimsy Stamps Halloweeners design team. And this card is going to feature some brand new stamps and dies from the August releases from Whimsy Stamps and they were pirate themed and I just am really like in a pirate vibe this year for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, I was excited when I saw these pirate stamps and dies and things like that. So I planned my card out. And as you know, I've been sketching. Um, I usually sketch them out, but I've been showing my sketches this year, which is something kind of new for me. So anyway, I'm gonna be making a slimline card and I'm going to use the uh, slimline wobbly windows die that will go on a slimline card. I'm gonna cut this out of Distress Cracked Leather Cardstock, I think. This is the way I think I'm going. I kind of want this to look kind of like piratey leather that would be on a chest or something like that. So I'm gonna color that and cut this out of it. And then the background, I am planning on having the whole background that will be behind it and showing through the windows to just be kind of a light, kind of a bluish color. And I haven't decided yet I'm gonna wait until I color it. If I'm gonna go with Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock for the background, or if I'm gonna go with Distress Watercolor. Uh, the Distress Watercolor obviously has a white base, and so it is going to show more of the kind of true color, whereas the Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock has this yellow base, and so it will turn things kind of maybe blues, a little bit more of a green color, and I may want that for this uh, piece, but I also may decide that I, I want it white. And so I have both of these out, and I may use a mixture of them, who knows. But those are my, my base papers that I'm gonna be using because I'm gonna do a lot of inking and coloring. So I may even use, um, a mixture of them for the stamps as well. Now let's get to talking about the stamps. So the main focal stamps will be these three uh, pirates from the Blimey Pirates stamps. And then they come with the Blimey Pirates outline dies, which is awesome. And it also has two outline dies for the Yoho Ho and the Ahoy Me Hardies. So I'm gonna see which one fits. I have planned to do the Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and then the Shiver Me Timbers under it on just a little strip. So we'll see if that fits. Now each pirate, after I color him and then uh, cut him out, he's gonna go on each of the windows. Okay, and then uh, in the window, kind of behind the pirate, I decided I wanted to use the treasure map stamp set and not use it on the treasure map because look at these. Are you kidding me? Look, there's this little tiny chest. There's this ship. There's the waves. We've got a couple different kinds of waves. We've got some mountains we can use. Little palm trees. We've got this uh, crashed ship. We've got a kraken or a whale's tail. I mean, there is so much that we can use on here. And so I kind of sketched out that I would be using these waves and kind of stamp those in the window. And then this one's gonna have the Kraken coming up behind him. And then behind him in the background is gonna have the crashed ship. And then behind this guy is going to have this ship, the Black Pearl will be behind him. So that was kind of my plan. So let's see if this turns out. I know you've already seen it, um, but I'm kind of excited to get started with this and see how it turns out. All right, so I'm inviting you to join me and let's get making me hearties.
cut a piece of the cracked leather and this is the cracked side up. So I'm going to be cutting this out of it and I need to color it. I want it to be kind of a dark leather color. So I'm going to spray it with some water and then spray it with a little gathered twigs. See what I think. And then I might add a little dark brown. That's a warm color. So I already have a little ground espresso. So I'm going to spread a little of that on as well. Dry it a little bit. There you can see that it looks like worn kind of cracked leather and you can see that I sprayed some water on it and then I used my inky binky and I kind of sopped some of it up so that it was uneven and it's a little bit darker kind of down here in spots, a little bit lighter up here. And I did that on purpose because I want it to look like it's really old leather. I don't want it to look perfect. So then I'm going to just cut this out with my die cutter. Like this and uh, then this will be my card front so next I need to cut the mat that's gonna go behind it that I'm gonna use to color blue so that I can have my scenes in the back there so here's the piece that I'm gonna use for the mat so I'm gonna do the same thing this is the smooth side of a piece of distress watercolor card stock so this is the smooth side because I am going to be stamping some of those tiny images on it. So I want them to stamp clearly. So I'm just going to do a little. This is tumbled glass distress spray stain. And I'm just doing a little bit of it to get some color on there. And I want it to be fluid. I don't want those spray dots on it, but it doesn't need to be completely smooth. When it pulls on the side like that, I usually just kind of lift it up and shake it to get them to go to the bottom. You can also take your inky binky and kind of tap at them. I just used a pencil to outline the windows on the frame. And then I have an eraser that I will use to go over and erase those when I'm done. I used some uh, tumbled glass to stress more of the tumbled glass, but I just kind of sprayed it on here and, and watercolored it on to make the C. And then I went in with my distress watercolor pencil palette that I made from the shavings of the watercolor pencils and I painted in uh, some more colors on the ocean and then a little bit of uh, iced spruce gray at the top and a little bit of I think this is maybe tumbled glass distress crayon so I just you know tried to add a little bit of color and of course went beyond the drawn circle so that when I do put this back on the color goes all the way over almost like you're kind of looking through a wooden porthole a little bit. stuck anything down yet because I feel like I want more dimension on it. So I cut three more of the wobbly frames out of Distress Heavy Stock and whoops, I'm going to adhere them together and then put them under because I think that'll lift it up just a little bit and kind of make it more like the background is a porthole, you know, or a scene. And then one thing that I ended up doing is I was having trouble 
for whatever reason, getting this over here so that they were kind of offset. And so I had stamped this up over here and I really should have stamped it over here. So I have two, I'm just covering the, it up with. Here's the final card and although it turned out different than I had planned actually several different times throughout, I really like the end result. So I'm going to talk about a few things on the card but I wanted to address a couple of things very quickly and that is that you may have seen me in the parts where I kind of sped it up that I was stamping the images twice and that's because I wasn't sure which paper I wanted to use and so I stamped them on Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock, which has that kind of antique yellow background. And I thought that might be good with these antique pirates that I wanted. Um, then I colored these with Distress uh, Watercolor Pencils. And so that's what these are colored with. And you can kind of see it is a little bit opaque, not as translucent or uh, transparent as distress inks or distress stains and so that brings me to the other set that I stamped and I stamped both of them in black soot archival ink uh, but this set I stamped on distress watercolor cardstock which is white and then um, I colored it in and you'll see me in both of the sections where I'm coloring. The second section that I'm coloring, I'm using Distress Spray Stains. I just spray a little on my media mat and then pick it up with my water brush and go ahead and color mostly antique linen and a little bit of gathered twigs for the darker brown. And then this was uh, Lumberjack Plaid. And I think this one might've been Brush Corduroy here, the warmer brown um, that's there. And this is some Lumberjack Plaid as well. but. I, it, I really kept it neutral uh, for this whole piece. Okay, so what do I love about it? Well, a couple of things. I really love this wonky, uh, I think it's called a wobbly windows die. I really love the wobbly windows die uh, that I cut things out with. And then those wobbly windows that kind of let us see behind each pirate a little piratey scene stamped with the treasure map stamps. And so not, you know, not a whole scene, just little bits of pirate life behind them. And then the blues were done with a little bit of distress stain and then uh, mostly distress crayon or uh, distress watercolor pencils. And you may have seen me using, instead of coloring with the pencils, you may have seen me using a palette and that's, uh, I, I made a palette uh, that I bought from Ranger Ink. Um, this is for lots of different things, alcohol inks and things like that. But for this, I used the shavings from my Distress watercolor pencils and I put them in there, put a little bit of water, mixed it up and then let it dry. And then you can use it as a paint palette and it's your same color as your watercolor pencils because it's just the shavings. Last thing, I love that uh, there are die cuts for this stamp set, the Blimey Pirate stamp set. So I think their faces are really funny and piratey and just each unique and they kind of make me laugh. So, cause uh, you know, they're, they're kind of sinister, but at the same time, they're funny sinister, I think. And so uh, that's funny. And then I just, do love that they have the uh, die sets to go with it so that you can, you know, stamp, color, and then cut them out really fast. It's just such a breeze and so quick to cut those out, which you saw me doing. And they fit in the uh, Sizzix Sidekick, so you don't even need a big machine. You can, you know, do everything at your desktop. All right, uh, the last bit that I added was I added a few brads to the corners of the wobbly frame 
uh, the wobbly windows die. And then that cracked leather paper that's on top there. I just think that gives it such a worn piratey look. So I, I, I'm happy with the way this turned out really like it yeah. last but not least if you are interested in any of these awesome whimsy stamps products they are linked in the description for this video and they are also linked on my blog so either place and they are my affiliate links so i appreciate if you click on them and use them that helps me with the cost of uh all of my tutorials here and my blog and all of that stuff so thank you so much and i want to really really thank you for watching and I want to wish you a very creative day.